2019 to be in the running for a fabulous prize. Uh, the winners of the best poster and Twitter photos will be announced at 4.25 p.m. today, uh, together with the Early Career Researcher Awards. Uh, please don't forget to take down your posters at the end of the meeting. And finally, you're welcome to keep your name badge and lanyard, but if you'd like to recycle them, bring them to the box at the registration desk at the end of the day. Okay, Keiichi, thank you. Uh, uh, th uh, thank you, Professor James and uh, Jay, uh, for giving me a chance to present our data at this fantastic meeting. Uh, today, I would like to talk about perspective of the critical application of HLA-matched iPS cell-derived purified cardiomyocyte transplantation in the patient with DCM. Uh, this slide shows a grand design of the strategy for heart regeneration. From the patient with HEFLEF or hereditary heart disease, we do blood sampling. Uh, and the peripheral blood uh, contains T lymphocyte. Using these uh, T lymphocyte, we transfect its send virus containing Yamanaka factors. Now we can uh, obtain T cell derived iPS cells. We call these TIP cells. After cardiomyocyte induction, we purify the cardiomyocyte by metabolic selection. Now we can obtain sufficient amount of human cardiomyocyte. Uh, using these human cardiomyocytes, we uh, want to transplant uh, to the patient with DCM. The merit of iPS cells is, as you know, all the male stem cells. There are no immunorejection and no ethical problems. In order to achieve heart regeneration uh, for the treatment of severe heart failure, we need to overcome multiple steps. This slide shows the multiple steps. Efficient generation of safe and high quality iPS cells, massive expansion of iPS cells, selective induction of ventricular cardiomyocyte, augmentation of cell division in developing cardiomyocyte, and this is most important, purification of cardiomyocyte to eliminate residual iPS cells or non, even non-myocyte and the uh, development of efficient cell transplantation method and preclinical uh, pre uh, animal experiment to confirm safety and efficacy. Actually, we had overcome all of these steps, so we wanted to begin clinical trial. Uh, this trial shows a, a strategy for heart regeneration. Multi uh, multiple step cardiomyocyte generation protocol was shown. Uh, we had isolated Nogin, Wint, and GCS uh, play an important role for cardiomyocyte induction. And other researchers revealed that the BMP4 activin and WINT inhibitor play an important role. So serial administration of these factors can induce cardiomyocyte differentiation. And now we can substitute these factors with chemical compound. Uh, this is a, a result of a selective induction of ventricular cardiomyocyte. As you know, myosin light a chain to A is an atrial marker, and the myosin light chain to B is a ventricular marker. Uh, as you know, uh, most of the love can induce cardiomyocyte by the mixture of atrial and ventricular cardiomyocyte. But in our hand, we can selectively induce ventricular cardiomyocyte. Even the myosin light chain to A positive cells also expressed myosin light chain to B, indicating these are fetal ventricular cardiomyocyte. The right hand panel indicated action potential recording. Please take a look at the control. A control uh, sh uh, showed a, uh, a, a ventricular uh, uh, cardiomyocyte like action potentials. And uh, administration of isoprotein uh, increased the beating rate and shortens the action potential du uh, duration. These findings clearly indicated that uh, uh, they are ventricular cardiomyocyte. Next, uh, you know, uh, ES and iPS cells are one of the most attractive cell sources in regenerative therapies for heart re uh, failure patients. However, if non-purified uh, ES or iPS cell derived uh, cells are transplanted, they will form a teratoma like this. So elimination of the residual stem cells and purification of cardiomyocytes are necessary. This slide shows the ideal strategy for cardiomyocyte purification. As you can see, the red cells indicated cardiomyocyte, sky blue indicated uh, undifferentiated iPS cells, and uh, other colors indicated non-cardiomyocyte. If we can make a, a special culture, cell culture medium in which 
iPSL cannot survive, and non uh, cardiomyocyte cannot survive, we can easily obtain cardiomyocyte. In order to achieve this, uh, we had performed a lot of experiment and spent 10 years. And uh, uh, this slide shows a gene chip analysis of the ES and the cardiomyocyte. The right hand panel indicated a metabolic pathway. As you can see, uh, most of the cells use glucose as an energy source. And glucose 6-phosphate was changed to uh, DNA and RNA via uh, pentose phosphate shunt. And amino acid synthesis pathway, 3-phosphoglycerin uh, uh, was used to generate amino acid. And the final product of the glycolysis pathway, pyruvate, is incorporated into the mitochondria and uh, incorporated into the TCA cycle. The enzymes that were strongly expressed in the ES cells were shown in sky blue, and the enzymes that were strongly expressed in the cardiomyocyte were shown in red. As you can see, the glycolytic pathway is uh, differently controlled, and uh, uh, DNA, synthesis, DNA synthesis pathway and amino acid synthesis pathway were strongly expressed in the ES cells. In contrast, the enzymes uh, that were in the uh, TCA cycle or oxidative phosphorylation pathway, uh, cardiomyocytes strongly expressed. Next, we performed fluxome analysis using carbon-13 labeled glucose. To make long story short, uh, I will explain this slide. As you know, ES cells and IPS cells are highly proliferative. So they incorporated glucose by 100 times more than that of uh, cardiomyocyte. And uh, these uh, glucose were uh, used to generate nucleotide and amino acid. And the final product, pyruvate, uh, cannot be used. Uh, pyru uh, pyruvate was changed to lactate, and lactate was discarded to the uh, media. So highly proliferative ES and IPS cells have activated glycolytic pathway and generate nucleotide and amino acid. In contrast, cardiomyocytes are less proliferating. Cardiomyocyte uses glucose very efficiently, and they uh, generate uh, pyruvate, to, uh, and the pyruvate was incorporated into the TCA cycle to generate ATP for uh, cardiomyocyte contraction. So less proliferative cardiomyocyte efficiently generate ATP by oxidative phosphorylation. Using these differences, uh, this is a schema of our hypothesis. If we deplete glucose from the culture medium, uh, cardiomy uh, uh, not only ES or IPS cells, but also cardiomyocyte could not survive. However, if we administer lactate into the culture medium, only cardiomyocyte can survive under glucose-depleted condition. Because cardiomyocyte expressed lactate transporter, and lactate was changed to uh, pyruvate by LDH, and uh, uh, pyruvate was incorporated into the TCA cycle, so cardiomyocyte can survive. Uh, this is a time-lapse uh, imaging of human ESL-derived embryoid body under glucose-depleted and lactate-supplemented condition. As you can see, cardiomyocyte uh, continues uh, beating, but uh, other, other type of cell rapidly die. Next, we performed amino acid consumption analysis in iPS cells. In the control media, amino acid uh, was 100%, and IPS was uh, cultured in this uh, media. And after the culture, uh, we measured the uh, amino acid content uh, in the con conditioned media. And as you can see in the uh, red uh, column, uh, IPS cells strongly use serine, glutamine, arginine, and cysteine. So we thought that uh, these four amino acids play an important role. Next, we performed this experiment. Uh, under glucose-depleted condition, we added uh, glutamine and these four amino acids and without these four amino acids, uh, these two lanes. As you can see, uh, if we uh, added these four amino acids, IPSL uh, can survive. However, if we depleted these four amino acids, uh, the uh, IPS cells rapidly die. So next, we performed uh, the experiment. Uh, we depleted uh, each uh, amino acid in the uh, culture media. And as you can see, only uh, glutamine plays an important role. Uh, we are surprised. Why uh, IPS cells use glutamine? Next, we performed fluxome analysis. 
Fluxome analysis revealed that the human ES and IPS cells use glucose and glutamine as the two major energy sources. So they live under glucose and glutamine. So if we depleted glucose and glutamine from the culture medium, human pluripotent stem cells rapidly die. However, if we administered uh, lactate or pyruvate, uh, they strongly incorporated uh, lactate or pyruvate, and the lactate was used. Uh, Cardiomyocyte abundantly expressed acunitase 2 and uh, isocytrate dehydrogenase, and the TCA cycle was well developed. Even if both glucose and glutamine are depleted, cardiomyocyte can survive under supplementation of lactate or pyruvate. The left panel indicated a two dimension uh, culture of the uh, IPS cells, and we induced cardiomyocyte. As you can see, the beating cells. However, you also can see the uh, other type of cell still re uh, remained uh, in this condition. So we depleted glucose and glutamine and supplement, uh, supplemented uh, lactate in the, as in the light panel. As you can see, uh, the cardiomyocyte uh, contained uh, spontaneous beating. However, other type of cells, uh, including IPS cells and the non-cardiomyocyte, rapidly die like this. Uh, this is just, just before uh, transplantation. As you can see, purified human cardiomyocyte uh, can be obtained. Right hand panel in the uh, fax analysis. Uh, we can obtain uh, cardiomyocyte with more than 99% purity. And the rest 1% is almost a dead cell. So uh, approximately almost 100% cardiomyocyte. So next is a, a teratoma formation experiment. We transplanted uh, human ES cells, so uh, IPS cell-derived cardiomyocyte, into the mice. Right-hand panel indicated the uh, result. As you can see, uh, transplantation of uh, uh, ES cells uh, can make a teratoma, but the purified cardiomyocyte do not form teratoma or any other uh, tumor formation. Next, we generated a large-scale production of human regenerated cardiomyocyte by robot system. The uh, left-hand panel indicated uh, our uh, machine. Oh. And uh, this is video. Uh, this is set up in uh, isolator. So this is 100% uh, sterile. Robot uh, can do the everything uh, that technicians do. And you can, uh, we can uh, generate uh, one billion I, uh, cardiomyocyte uh, using this system within one month. Now uh, is the transplantation. Uh, previously, uh, we uh, transplanted a purified cardiomyocyte, and purified cardiomyocyte were dissociated by trypsin and directly injected into the uh, rat heart. This is uh, needle scar, and uh, uh, blue cells are uh, likely positive transplanted cardiomyocyte. At first, uh, we are uh, very much pleased, but uh, next, disappointed, because Survived transplanted cardiomyocyte by floating cell, uh, cell injection is less than 3%. Most of the cardiomyocytes were lost by backflow due to bleeding. So we uh, generated a new system. We used this kind of special designed uh, cell culture dishes. And this, the bottom of this dish has a hole. Using this system, uh, we can generate a cardiomyocyte organoid. And we call this cardiomyocyte balls. And each ball contains 1,000 cardiomyocyte. The diameter is 150 microns. Using this system, we transplanted a cardiomyocyte. The upper panel indicated a mouse ESL derived purified cardiomyocyte transplantation into mice heart. As you can see, this large striated muscle is adult cardiomyocyte. And as you can see, this small striated muscle is a transplanted uh, ESL derived cardiomyocyte. The size of the cardiomyocyte is completely different. Uh, this is three weeks and this is eight weeks after transplantation. However, as you can see, the transplanted cardiomyocyte shows physiological hypertrophy. 
The green indicated uh, uh, cardiomyocyte nucleus and the red indicated uh, actinin indicating cardiomyocyte uh, somatic proteins. As you can see, the transplanted cardiomyocyte showed physiological hypertrophy after transplantation. The lower panel indicated ESL derived cardiomyocyte transplantation. We transplanted human ESL derived purified cardiomyocyte and generated uh, cardiomyocyte bolt. And as you can see, the human cardiomyocyte can survive in the uh, immunodeficient mice heart. Next experiment, uh, the, in the left panel, human cardiomyocyte were transplanted in non, into nog mice heart. Uh, this is the immunodeficient uh, mice. As you can see, uh, this brown area uh, showed a crescent shape. Uh, this is higher magnification. As you can see, transplanted human cardiomyocyte shows physiological hypertrophy and showed adult phenotype. Beautiful striation can be observed, and there are no scar formation was found in the transplanted area. This is four months after transplantation. The right hand panel indicated a human cardiomyocyte transplantation into nogmice skin. This is one year after transplantation. I will show you the video. As you can see, the transplanted human cardiomyocyte uh, formed a strong uh, cardiac muscle and beat uh, spontaneously. Uh, this is one year after transplantation. And very interestingly, as you can see, uh, there are new vessel formation into this uh, cardiac muscle area. Uh, this is another experiment. We transplanted human cardiomyocyte into NODX skid lad. As you can see, this is in the sky area, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, right uh, red area is a transplanted human cardiomyocyte. This is human nuclear antigen. As you can see, uh, the transplanted cardiomyocyte formed a strong cardiac tissue. Uh, the center panel indicated the echocardiography. Upper panel is control, and the lower panel is cardiomyocyte transplantation. As you can see, the uh, anterior wall showed spontaneous beating. And after two months, and they showed a physiological hypertrophy, ejection fraction can be improved. Next, we transplanted uh, common marmoset monkey ESL derived cardiomyocyte into common marmoset monkey. We generated a uh, monkey ESL derived uh, cardiomyocyte and generated cardiomyocyte ball and transplanted. Uh, we marked these cells with lead dye and transplanted. As you can see, uh, the transplanted cardiomyocyte can survive in the monkey heart. The, in the light panel, uh, we transplanted human iPS-derived cardiomyocyte. We marked these cells with mitotracker lead and the GFP, and as you can see, uh, the human cardiomyocyte can survive in the monkey heart. And uh, uh, this is three months after transplantation. So monkey uh, is a good model for uh, transplanting a human cardiomyocyte. Next, we developed uh, uh, original transplantation device. As you know, a uh, needle, uh, the tip of the needle has a mess and a knife. So uh, this cuts the uh, vessels. So this increases the breathing. So we uh, made a, a specially designed needle like this. And uh, they have six side holes like this. And uh, we transplanted cardiomyocyte like, like this. And uh, each red dot indicated a cardiomyocyte ball. This is a video. Uh, this is a micro mini beak. Uh, the weight is approximately 10 kilogram. The cell suspensions uh, suspended uh, were uh, marked with blue dye. Please take a look at the uh, injection site after removal of the needle. Smooth tip of the needle does not damage the vasculature to reduce breathing. As you can see, there are no breathing. Uh, this is a, a protocol of the first, hum, first in human clinical trials scheduled in, uh, at the end of this year or next year. Uh, we obtained HA haplotype uh, homo IPS cells uh, from uh, Kyoto University. Uh, this was made by Shinya Yamanaka. We used this HLA, HLA uh, homo IPS cells. Uh, we generate uh, a cardiomyocyte in K University and with transplant. So DCM with stage three or heart failure, uh, three cases uh, will be included. 
So we uh, had screened the HLA and uh, fa had found that the HLA six class matches. You know, uh, Japan is an island, so very isolated. So uh, there are three major HLA classes in Japan. So the uh, number uh, most frequent HLA uh, match cells matches the uh, sixteen percent of the uh, Japanese population. So this is summary and future plan. We had succeeded in generating patient-derived iPS cells by Sendai virus, uh, inducing ventricular-specific cardiomyocyte, purifying them with more than 99% purity, and had developed transplantation device. The transplanted cardiomyocyte formed mature ventricular phenotype and uh, survived uh, in the normalized heart and skin for a long period without making any teratoma or other tumor formation. We will use HLA-matched human iPS-derived cardiomyocyte and begin a clinical trial to perform transplantation into patients with DCM uh, next year. Thank you very much for your attention. Kenichi, it's always a beautiful walk uh, from your lab. Now, the mass production of uh, iPS here to have the uh, my site, um, it's important for the clinical trial because you need um, billions of cells. I think the purification of 99%, 99.9% is not as important as the remaining 1% or 0.1%. What need to characterize with this uh, bioreactor fabrication of large amount of my, uh, my site, this 0.1% or 1% of uh, non my site, what is the characteristic of these cells? If you just need a one pluripotent stem cell skip, just not, it's 0.01% of mm -hmm. pluripotent yeah. stem cell can cause the cancer. We all know that uh, mm -hmm. you just need a one Polyponal stem cell can repopulate the circulation, mm -hmm. right? One cell. Mm -hmm. So I think folks should be this uh, non my side, percent of one non my side, mm -hmm. characterize that mm -hmm. for the clinical mm -hmm. application. Yeah, actually, uh, one percent does not mean anything, yeah. but uh, purity is high. Uh, we had performed a lot of experiments uh, in Tonogamize. And we found that uh, even if uh, the uh, cardiomyocyte percentage was 85%, sometimes they made a teratoma. So that's a big problem. Uh, in our system, we can eliminate uh, dividing cells because dividing cells use the glucose and the glutamine as an energy source. So we can eliminate the dividing cells. That's why we can purify the cardiomyocyte and they do not form teratoma or any other tumor formation. Uh, the 1% does not mean anything. 90% or 97% will be fine, but 80% no. Very beautiful work. It's very, very exciting. Thank you. Um, my question is about dilated cardiomyopathy, mm -hmm. which might have thin walled ventricle, mm -hmm. and your um, specialized syringe. Um, how many cells does that deliver? How many areas will you inject? And is a dilated cardiomyopathy ventricle mm -hmm. perhaps a little too yeah. thin? Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, you know, first, uh, first in human clinical trial, the amount of cell dose is not so much. Uh, we transplanted uh, 50 million cells uh, into the heart. But this is not enough, I know. But uh, this is the first in human clinical trial. And, uh, uh, we cannot fail, so uh, we uh, injected a small amount of uh, cardiomyocyte. The target uh, in the future uh, will be much more cardiomyocyte. Is there any chance of cell tracking? Will you plan any FDG PET? Or um, so far, our clinical trials we, we haven't really been tracking survival of cells. Maybe in another cell type. People didn't care. They thought parakine benefits mm -hmm. might be important. But I suppose with PSC cardiomyocytes, we really want them to engraft. And in clinical studies, it seems it would be very important for everyone to learn if there's survival of these cells. Mm -hmm. Are you planning any such? Yes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> as I have uh, shown you, the uh, metabolic pathway uh, of the transplanted cells and uh, uh, 
uh, adult cells are, is a little bit different. Uh, you know, the phenotype of the uh, uh, iPS cell derived cardiomyocytes shows a, a, a fetal or neonatal uh, phenotype. After transplantation, they gradually change into adult phenotype. And uh, adult cardiomyocyte mainly uses, uh, uh, you know, uh, free fatty acid as an energy source. But uh, uh, fetal or neonatal cardiomyocyte mainly uses uh, lactate as an energy source. Apologies if I missed this, but are you seeing arrhythmias in your marmoset model, and, and what are you thinking about, uh, what are you doing to deal with arrhythmias in your, in your clinical trial? Will all the patients have an ICD? Do you have antiarrhythmic drugs in mind? What, what are you thinking? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, so have you seen arrhythmias in your preclinical uh, yeah, studies, yeah, yeah, yeah. and what's going to be your strategy in, yeah. in human patients? Uh, uh, in the LAT model, there are no arrhythmia, because, you know, uh, heart rate is very high. We transplanted in the pig model. In the pig model, uh, first one month, there is arrhythmia. But uh, uh, probably uh, Yuji, Shiba, uh, next speaker, uh, will talk about the uh, monkey model. What do you think about the trial? Yeah, uh, the first uh, one month, uh, there will be uh, uh, arrhythmia. But uh, uh, in our observation, uh, they are not fatal, and we can uh, 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 manipulate these arrhythmia. of the cardiomyocyte balls, and why, what's the major difference you observed between the balls and the, you, when you yeah. transplant the, the individual cells? Yeah. Uh, the size of the cardiomyocyte ball is approximately uh, 160 or 170 uh, microns. And uh, these, uh, each ball contain 1,000 cardiomyocytes. If the, cardiomy the size of the cardiomyocyte ball is big, the center uh, will be it will be a, a goat to ap apoptosis. All right, thanks very much for a wonderful presentation. Uh, our next speaker is uh, Yuji Shiba uh, from Shinshu uh, University. Thank you. <laughs> 